Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for at any time in February, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. My hair is sticking up, eh? That's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> Whatever. Anyhow, what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for... Apparently, I'm all discombobulated. Whatever. Okay, so what do we have for Leo for February? Now, keep in mind, not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. We got two of them. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. So maybe it's time for you to do something risky. Not that you don't anyway, right? Uh, you're obviously going to be doing something risky in the future, okay? Purse, pay attention to your finances. Really be careful. Be careful with your money, okay? Be careful with your money. Pay attention to your finances in February, okay? Try not to take any big uh, financial risks. It says doing something risky, taking a chance, but that doesn't always mean that, I mean, it doesn't mean it's always gonna turn out, right? Sometimes you take a chance and you get burned, you know? I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen, but pay attention to your finances. That's a red flag, I would say. So, I might need to pay attention to your money. Be careful with any risky purchases. What do we have for Leo? You might hear my other computer and over here. Um, it's actually my monitor and my smash computer doing its thing um, for now. What do we have? What do we have for uh, Leo? Six months. Something about six months. So six months is very prominent here. Something may have happened six months ago that is affecting you now, or something big is going to happen in six months from now. So if you've been, if you have a question, you have a question, the answer, and you're looking for timing, the answer might be six months, or something that you did six months ago may cost you. I just saw that. Ah, this is only lust. Some of you might be dealing with something that's only going to last six months. I mean, I just got to be honest. This is only lust. And lust isn't just with a person. It could have to do with money. It's in some sort of instant gratification. could have something that you purchased that looks really good. Okay? You need to be real. It might only last six months. You buy it now, and in six months, it's dead. You know? Um, what do we have for Leo? Let's get one of these. I have a new Dell coming. Thank God. Anyhow, what do we have for a message today? Ah, man holding heart. Man holding heart. Now that can mean many different things. But there's a man here that obviously has a really big heart. I'm not sure if it has been ripped out of his chest, though. Certainly looks that way now, doesn't it? Ah, man holding heart. Um, hmm. Maybe you need to wait. Maybe you need to be patient and you need to wait for something. Some of you need to heal, especially if you are a man. Maybe you need to take six months to heal if you haven't already. Um, this is only lust. Man holding heart. Oh, I just looked on the bottom. Patience. Patient. So you need to be patient and wait for something. All about divine timing here. It is. It's all about divine timing. I feel like if you say if you're this man, you say you're a man watching this and you've been focusing on yourself for the last six months, maybe it's time to open your heart and give your heart away to somebody. Okay, we have do something risky, take a, take a risk, right? Some of you may be, I, I just looked at that and I thought of Valentine's Day. So I don't know why, cause, probably because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Um, this is an, ex when I see man holding heart, 
you know, it means so many things. Somebody may be opening their heart and they may be expressing feelings. Maybe you've been dealing with something for the last six months and somebody's about to open their heart. I mean, it could go in many ways, but this is only lust is an issue. And it says pay attention to your finances. I'm, I'm wondering if there's somebody that is going to be expressing, you know, their heart to you, you know, saying lovely words because that's what people say right they can you could think of this like the king of cups right this is somebody that knows how to speak love right but it may be only lust okay so i just whether it's a male or a female it could certainly be a female it could be um i think that it may, you know may only maybe they're maybe you need to pay attention to your finances because this person maybe they don't maybe they don't have any money you know maybe it's only lust maybe you have some sort of feelings for somebody that you know, needs you for your money. I mean, I do think that you need to be careful. All right, male or female. All right, I do think that you need to be careful. And you may have a big heart, especially if you're a man, because that's his man holding heart. Maybe you need to hold on to your heart. You need to, uh, you need to protect your heart. You know, you don't want to get it ripped out if you've gotten it ripped out before. You know, there's a man here that obviously is, I feel, has had his heart ripped out. Or, I don't know, it can mean so many diff different things. I obviously, I'm not reading from the book now, huh? This is all about feelings. Hmm. We, may have, we ha may have somebody here that, you know, is really struggling to open their heart. <sighs> Anyhow, let's move on. Ace of Swords. Now it came out reversed. It is, if it comes out reversed, and that one did too, so that, you know, but I flipped it. That King of, well, I say it's the King of Cups because the man holding heart. Maybe that's somebody that's emotionally unavailable, probably because their heart's been ripped out. Anyhow, Ace of Swords reversed lack of honesty, deception, lies. You know, I think that you definitely need to be careful. Make sure you're seeing things clearly. Make sure that you're not wearing rose colored glasses. That you're not looking at something it looks so beautiful and you know it's maybe it's not logical i don't know i think you need to look deep at a situation we have we have some sort of uh obstruction here very interesting on this ace of swords i wonder if there's somebody that is getting some sort of surgery um life support of some sort what the heck is this Mo removing something removing some sort of obstruction and it came out reversed you may need to you may need to remove something that is threatening you that could cause you a lot of harm that's exactly what this is you need to be careful. You need to look at things deeper. And this is putting something up on the x-ray machine, right? They're looking deep. They're looking deep. And I feel like they're looking deep to see what the hell is in there. There's obviously something in there that shouldn't be in there. So I feel like you're going to really need to use discernment, you know, and not, you know, be careful with your heart. Page of Wands on the bottom. This is an offer or an invite that is coming. This person is very um, exciting, right? This person is very feisty, very intriguing, right? This is somebody that is, and I feel like you have this energy as well. This is, this is hide and seek by the looks of things. I'm not sure what it is, but some sort of game. This is like fun, 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 isn't it? It's fun. This is fun. It, see, it appears to be fun, but it looks like it could be dangerous. We got somebody here that isn't even thinking. They're just running. They're in a hurry. Somebody may be rushing towards you in a hurry. This person seems very intriguing. So I think that, you know, I don't know if this person is younger than you. I don't know. Or there could be a little bit of an age difference. I'm not sure. It doesn't even have to be. But I think that, you know, this is some sort of whoever you're dealing with, maybe it's just a game to them. Um, you do have an offer or an invite that is coming. And I feel like you need to look really deep at who you're dealing with. Do they have anything to offer you? Are they really emotionally available? 
Are they gonna break your heart? Is it only lust? Have you been playing games with this person for the last six months? Will it only last six months? Does this person need money? So I think they really, and this maybe have something to do with money. So anyway, I really feel like you're gonna need to, like that pit, like that card says, is examine examine the situation with you know a fine tooth comb anyhow what do we have for leo you may be getting a valentine from somebody and you know this could be at any time in february i don't know because yeah, this is for February, so I'm not sure if you're if you're getting a Valentine from somebody that I don't know if this person's already caused you some sort of pain or something like that. Anyhow, what do we have for Leo? Okay. Ah, Queen of Swords reverse. There still could be an X involved. The Queen of Swords upright or reverse could could resemble an X, but this is a need for discernment, right? You need to be honest with yourself. Okay, you need to be honest with yourself. Um, there's a lack of clarity here. Somebody's not telling the truth. They may not be telling their truth about an ex or a mother or something like that. You may even have somebody here that is against you. I feel like there's a woman here that is not very nice. She may be wrecking some havoc. I think that you need to beware. Ten of Swords reversed. Ten of Swords reverses could be, you know, this is some sort of suffering. There's a lot of suffering here. Somebody may be inflicting pain. They're trying to inflict pain. Now, this could be an ex. It could be a stepmother. It could be a mother-in-law. It could be just a bitch, whoever this person is. This is somebody that is cruel, that is wicked, that is maybe trying to hurt you. She may be very, very jealous. revengeful there is a revengeful woman here whether she's uh, dealing with you or the person that's trying to give you something strength yeah you're gonna need to be strong you're need, gonna need to remain in control of your emotions okay you're gonna need to manage your feelings hold your head up high be proud of who you are um, you're gonna need you're gonna need strength, okay? Ten of Swords reverse is typically liberation, so I'm not one, I'm wondering if either you are breaking free from some sort of nasty individual that was cruel and mean, or somebody that you're dealing with is, because this is liberation, it's freedom, it's somebody getting up, it's getting out of an abusive situation where there's been a lot of betrayal. Whether you're doing that or somebody that you're that you're dealing with is. There's, this is like a lack of clarity though. It did come out reversed. There's been some sort of obstruction. Somebody wasn't seeing it, but now there's been so much suffering and pain, they're probably forced to deal with it. Maybe it has to do with their heart. Somebody may have been controlled by a woman that was manipulating them or intimidating them or lying to them. This is the end of things. It is the end of things. Things are going to get better. They are going to get better. They are. This is the storm is over with this individual, whoever this individual is. You know, even if there's been an ultimate betrayal here, this is coming back, all right? Coming back into your power. So anyhow, you may, be, you may be looking good and feeling good. You may feel a renewed strength within yourself after breaking free from whoever this individual is. The chariot taking a journey, facing opposition. Definitely mastering emotions, going somewhere, taking the driver's seat. Somebody is leaving behind a very painful separate uh, situation, you know, where there's, they've been betrayed. They, they've been down in this position for quite some time. They've been uh, abused, probably verbally abused, neglected maybe with the Queen of Swords reverse. They've been afraid. They, somebody has really been afraid to leave. 
okay because this person is revengeful and vindictive and will do anything you know will do doesn't have any very cold Anyhow, th there's strength around the corner. So somebody is finding their strength and their courage and their confidence to break free from a situation. So I don't know how that resonates with you. Whether you're the, you could be the one that's doing it. Ah, high priestess reverse. There's a hidden agenda here. There's somebody, something is about to be revealed. Okay. Somebody's been hiding something. There's also, um too reliant somebody's been overly reliant on you know tarot readers psychics mediums and other people other than listening to their gut they received poor advice from a woman somebody received poor advice from a woman that that caused them a lot of pain and suffering it was prolonged somebody's been in a situation because they listened to poor advice from somebody that's not really that spiritual not very awakened this person had hidden agendas but now we're going to see some movement, okay? This is fast paced. This is a warrior that is leaving behind some pain. It, and whether it's you or somebody else, this is really leaving it behind. It's like going somewhere right now. I'm, I'm done being in this position. I'm done being down. This is getting up and going somewhere. Getting up and, and taking, taking the reins. So somebody is going somewhere. They're going to be taking a new journey. They are leaving behind a, a wicked woman. This woman is wicked, okay? She's, she's not a nice person at all. not very intuitive at all we also have somebody here that is doesn't listen to their intuition you know they haven't been listening to their intuition at all and because they haven't been listening to their intuition they've been relying on other people to give them advice they've been suffering page of swords under a telescope right Somebody's been investigating. Uh, a message is coming. A message is coming your way. It may be a surprise. Maybe somebody's been watching. Maybe they've been watching you, but they've been waiting for the right moment. Maybe they've been intimidated or they've been scared or there's been a woman that has been holding them back. You know, I don't know who this woman is, but she's very mean-spirited. She lies a lot. Um, Page of Swords, that is... That is taking a new approach. We have somebody here that is very curious, you know. It's like they've been watching. They've been investigating. They probably haven't been communicating, but I think that they're about to find the courage to do something. Nine of Wands. And Nine of Wands is a chance. Somebody wants a chance. Somebody's gonna, somebody may want forgiveness. I don't know where that's coming from, but I, I wanted to say that. Um, and I don't know if this is somebody new or what, but I want, for some reason I had to say that. Um, nine of wands, nine of wands is, is dealing with challenges. We do have a wounded warrior here who has, you know, grown weary, right? This, that is what that is. A nine of wands when somebody's thinking about giving up, you know, they, they're, they don't want to fight, but they're willing to fight if they have to. So I feel like we have somebody here that's about, and this guy's got a, got a, a shield this definitely is a warrior it's like i'm i guess i'm gonna have to i guess i'm gonna gonna have to do this i really don't want to do this but i have to do this so you may be challenged i think that you're ready i think that you're, you may be having to defend yourself as well or there could be somebody that is coming in to defend you okay it could go either way there's an these are both very defensive energies um You're going to be receiving a message from somebody and I feel like, and this is protect yourself. I feel like you've come a long way. I think that you've come a very, very long way. And for some of you, you could be the queen of swords energy where you're bitter. Some of you may be bitter. You may, somebody may be challenging you, you know, you're bitter. You've been hurt. You've been betrayed. There's a chance to go in a new direction. You have to listen to your gut. It's going to take strength and courage and, and willpower and discipline. Maybe somebody you know maybe to let your guard down so i mean we could go all day with these cards and i could change my my story several times some of you may be getting an offer if you are a, a woman here or a man whatever you could be getting an offer from somebody that wants to give you their heart and you're too cold and bitter and that could certainly be the case now this could be a pisces cancer scorpio 
Um, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Leo. We also have, I feel like we also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you do need to take a risk, though, because doing something risky, taking a chance, maybe you need to let your guard down. You may get an offer or an invite from somebody where you have to let go of your fear. You know, you have to let go of your fear. You need to give them a chance. But we have this as only lust. What is this, this only lust? What is this only lust? A seven of wands. Seven of wands is a opposition, right? It's challenge. We have somebody here that is in a tough position. They, are, they may be changing their position. This is only lust. This is defend, defend, fight. We definitely have a warrior here. We have it three, three, three times. Warrior, warrior, warrior. We have a fighter here. We have somebody here that is going to fight for something. They've let some, I don't know if we have a bitch here that has caused them a lot of pain. This is only lust. Somebody may be turning their back on a situation that was only lust. They're ready. This is like ready to fight. We definitely have ready to fight. And maybe you need to be ready. You may be caught off guard. You may be caught off guard. You may need to defend yourself. Somebody, and maybe you have your guard up. This is somebody coming in really fast. It really is. I mean, take a look at that. This could be somebody that's at a distance. They're traveling towards you. I don't know. All right. Um, you will be caught off guard. It feels like somebody's coming in. They're coming in out of nowhere. Um, and I feel like you definitely may be in protection mode. You may need to protect yourself. I mean, I definitely see the need to protect or that somebody's protecting. And we definitely have a protector here. There could be a protector that is coming in. This is the end of suffering. It really is. I mean, the Ten of Swords reverse. It's the end of suffering. But then again, the Ten of Swords reverse can be may or may not survive. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. So I'm not sure what is happening. Somebody has been keeping secrets, you know. Secrets are, and lies are going to be revealed. That's what we got right here, which changes things. This could be a fight that send somebody packing. I mean, we could go all day. We all have different stories and I'm reading for thousands and thousands of people. Somebody could, you know, get in a fight which sends them, this is like packing up, leaving home, but leaving some nasty individual behind that criticizes them and is unforgiving and is cruel and says a lot of mean things, you know? I think that we do have a man that is going to be, well, somebody's doing some sort of investigation right now. They're really investigating. They're removing an obstruction, an obstacle that has been in the way. And however that resonates with you, I'm not sure. But I also need to tell you, we got the three of swords on the bottom. So this is some sort of painful separation. So I'm not sure where the pain, somebody is separating. And it feels like we have a third party situation here, okay? Somebody is, has been suffering for sure. They have been suffering. Um, there's heartache, heart pain here. I see that with the main man holding heart too. So I wonder if there's somebody is going in, you know, th there's heart, there could be some heart issues here. I mean, I gotta be honest, you may have somebody here that you know, has some heart issues and, you know, they have to, maybe it's like fighting, you know, this is like may or may not survive. So I'm not sure what is going on. Um, and this is lack of awareness. There could be some upcoming tra travel. Okay. You may be unaware that, you know, you're going to be traveling somewhere or somebody's traveling towards you. Now we could go all day, but I have to, uh, get my hair cut. Good luck. 